Hello, my name is Ombline de la Rochefoucauld, and today we will interview Ginevra Begani Provinciali about researches she performed using face imaging prototype developed by Imagine Optic. Hello, everybody. Hello, I'm Rachel from Imagine Optic. Could you introduce yourself, please? Sure, I'm Ginevra Begani, and I'm doing my PhD at Laboratoire d'Optique Appliqué in France under the co supervision of uh, Dr. Zetun from LOA and Dr. Uh, uh, Cedola from CNR Nanotech uh, in Rome. From, uh, for my thesis, I'm studying uh, ways to improve X-ray fence contrast tomography in order to get more information about neurodegenerative diseases such as uh, Alzheimer's disease. And could you explain us the technique of X-ray fence imaging, please? So, in classical X-ray radiography, we measure the local absorption of the sample given by the grayscale on the image. However, uh, when X-rays go through an inhomogeneous medium, they are, they are absorbed but also refracted at the interfaces between parts of different densities inside the sample. Uh, about 20 years ago, researchers demonstrated that refraction may enhance the contrast of images of biological samples that often are characterized by very small density variation. So these techniques go under the name of X-ray phase contrast imaging or XPCT. Phase-based uh, approaches can revolutionize uh, X-ray imaging and remove uh, its main limitation, that is uh, poor image contrast arising from uh, low attenuation differences. Thank you. Could you explain the principle of the computed tomography? tomography? Yes, so shortly, computer tomography is a 3D imaging technique. So we start from a series of 2D images that are called uh, projection that are acquiring, uh, rotating the sample at different illumination angles. And uh, afterwards, we can apply a reconstruction algorithm to visualize uh, in 3D the sample. Do you have uh, images to share with us? Yes, this is a, an example and is a picture of a section of my spinal cord image with the XPCT at 35 kV with a synchrotron beam. And in the magnification, the white dots are motor neurons that are involved in neurodegenerative diseases. Okay, what is the limitation of this technique? Uh, this kind of uh, images uh, are very nice. However, it is, it is a technique that is poorly qualitative, so we cannot measure the local density or get information about chemical composition, while for us they are crucial. So cor currently we need complementary techniques like uh, histology to confirm uh, our findings. Inside these images, the refraction is directly related to the local variation of density and its chemical composition. So by measuring the angle of refraction, we should be able to extract many new information about this kind of samples. Oh, I got it. So the phase imaging prototype is precisely made for measuring angles with high accuracy. Exactly. Uh, so I test this, this is an image of um, the prototype that we use uh, uh, with the, at the synchrotron and uh, I tested uh, both at the synchrotron and with tabletop uh, sources and the first results were very encouraging. Do you have any results you may share? Sure. Um, at the synchrotron we use the microspheres of different chemical composition and uh, the phase uh, imaging system was able to measure difference in refraction angles. So from one single acquisition, we were able to reconstruct the absorption, phase, and deflection maps in the two direction X and Y. Uh, this is the first step to, uh, to distinguish the chemical composition. So it was very impressive uh, for us. And what about results with uh, tabletop sources? Um, I did several experiments with the Institut Bergonier and Alfonov in France. Uh, although I cannot show you all the results I have, but this is an example with uh, the reconstructed absorption and refraction images of a mouse uh, spinal cord. Um, what is your general experience 
of the use of the imaging optic imaging system. So, respect to the classical free space uh, phase contrast system, it measure it's uh, capable of measuring absolute phase of the sample. That point is very valuable uh, for us. Also, uh, I appreciate the system that is uh, uh, plug and measure and uh, allow us uh, a compact uh, experiment. Uh, we, we were able to perform tomographic measurement with it. And uh, although even if the prototype uh, needs a uh, few improvements, uh, it's already open, it's already open new paths in uh, X-ray imaging. Thank you, Geneva Begani, for your time and this really nice uh, discussion. We wish you the best for your present and future researchers. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.